powerful name. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The one who changes lives. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our Savior, our deliverer. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, yes, you are. Oh, hallelujah, yes, you are. Salvation, deliverance, welfare, prosperity, healing, freedom, liberation. Yes, you are. That's what the Hebrew means in Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. He came to liberate us. Hallelujah, Jesus came to set us free. Jesus came to change our lives. The Bible says that we're held in captivity, that we walk in darkness. The Bible says that we have these invisible chains around us, around our heart, around our minds, that we walk in blindness. The Bible says that we walk in blindness, that we walk in darkness. But Jesus Christ, the light of the world, comes to set us free. He comes to shine our light into our darkness. He comes to bring us out of our captivity. The Bible says that we're held captive by an invisible enemy called sin and the devil. The devil, when we repeatedly sin, we're held in bondage. We're held in in chains by by an invisible enemy. But Jesus Christ came to pay the price for our freedom. Back in the day when there were slaves, and there are no slaves around the world today, that when a slave was being sold, that somebody had to pay a price for him and people could come along and set that slave free. They were called the Redeemer. But we're held in slavery, in our minds, in our hearts, by something called sin. We're held in a captivity, we walk in darkness. Fear dominates us. Addictions control us. Lusts and pride and anger and all sorts of things hold us down. Life controlling problems we call it. Hallelujah. But these life controlling problems, there's somebody greater. There's somebody who has paid the price to set us free and his name is Jesus. Jesus Christ upon the cross gave his, shed his blood. Jesus upon the cross shed his blood and paid the price How precious are we to God. God was so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, Jesus Christ. That Jesus lost his life so that we could be free. Jesus Christ stripped himself of his royalty. Jesus Christ stripped himself of all the the power and the might that he was. He became us nothing so that we could become royalty. That we could become a royal priest of the holy nation. Sitting at the right hand of God. Jesus Christ paid the price for you so that we could be free from our sin. Call upon the name of Jesus and you will be saved. Hallelujah. Call upon the name of Jesus. We have victory in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ means victory. Did you know that? Jesus Christ means victory. Yeshua, the Hebrew, for Jesus means victory. And we have victory in Jesus that we can be more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us. We're going to face many storms. We're going to face many troubles and trials that Jesus Christ will bring us through because he is victory. He is our victory. Victory belongs to Jesus Christ. If you have Jesus Christ, you'll be promoted to glory. For without Jesus Christ, you'll be relegated to a lost eternity. I don't know what football team you support, whether you're a Blues fan or a Villa fan or a West Brom fan, you know about relegation. I'm a Man United fan, so I'm not, I've never come across relegation for a long time. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, let's be serious though. With Jesus Christ on our team, we will win, we will conquer, we will be promoted to glory. But without Jesus Christ, we will be relegated to hell. This is the bottom line, we will lose the game of life without Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ, the player manager who comes on to play for our team to win the game that we can't win. We've all failed, we've all fall short. We've all, the Bible says we've all sinned. The Bible says we've all failed that pass mark. Not even the goodest person in the world can pass that mark. We failed. We failed the standard of morality. We failed the standard of, of holiness and righteousness. No one is righteous, not one. But then there was a saviour who came to this earth to make up what we couldn't do, to clothe us with his rightness so that we could become acceptable and right and have victory and pass the mark before a holy and righteous God. God is holy and righteous and pure. Hallelujah. He is pure light. He is a consuming fire. No one can approach God on their own works, on their own standards. Your good works can't take you to in the presence of God because you still have sin in your life. That's why we need a saviour. And he came to this earth and he stripped off his righteousness and put it around us and clothed us with robes of righteousness so that we could be acceptable and made righteous before a righteous God. He threw it all off and became sin. Jesus Christ became a curse upon the cross. How awful that was. But sin is so awful that Jesus had to become a curse in our place for you and me. That pride and that lust and that hate and that anger. He, Jesus, had to become a curse, had to become sin so that we could become accepted before God. Jesus became a criminal so that we could become innocent before a holy God. Jesus became a curse so that we could be blessed. Jesus Christ was rejected by his heavenly Father so that we could be accepted before the heavenly Father. But Jesus Christ knew that he wouldn't stay on the cross. He knew that he would come up, he would go to the grave. And then three days later, Jesus Christ would resurrect from the grave. And if Jesus Christ resurrected from the grave, we have hope. We know that we can have eternal life. Jesus is the resurrection and life. So many people are scared of death. They don't know what's going to happen to them. But if you have Jesus Christ, the resurrection and life, you will resurrect and you will have eternal life. The Bible says those who have Jesus have eternal life. Those who have the Son have eternal life. If you don't have the Son, you don't have eternal life. You're not going to heaven. Full stop. No arguments. That's what the Bible says. So receive the Son into your life. Get rid of the junk in your own life and say, God, take away the junk in my own life. I want to invite the greatest person who's ever existed into my life. Jesus Christ has power over death. No human being rose from the grave. He conquered our greatest enemy. One thing we all have in common with each other is that we one day will face death. But Jesus Christ conquered the grave. You do not need to fear the greatest enemy that humanity has. Where is, where is your sting, O death? Where is your sting, O death? Jesus Christ has conquered the grave. And in Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. We're going to heaven. This world is going to pass away. We are pilgrims marching, walking through this world. This world and its desires are just going to fade away. But those who do the will of the Lord will live forever. Those who love the world are not of God. If you love this world and you think this world is everything, you are not of God. The Bible says that the love of the Father is not in you if you love this world. The lust of the eyes, the lust of life, the pride of, li of life. If you into these things, you do not know God. But if you repent and turn from your sin and say, God, I want to know you. I want to live forever. I want to go to a place and be promoted to a glory that I can't even comprehend. If you know you're going on a journey, you're going to end up in the most wonderful, beautiful paradise that could ever exist, where there's no coronavirus, there's no fear, there's no rejection, there's no abuse, there's no knifings, there's no murder, and that's a place called heaven. There's no social services, there's no police force in heaven. There's no evil or rejection in heaven. There's total glory and peace and joy. 
and contentment. I want to go there, and I'm going there because I have Jesus Christ. Amen. Heaven has strict immigration policy. Heaven has a strict immigration policy. Hell has wide open borders. Hell has wide open borders. Anyone can go to hell. There's a wide road to hell, but heaven has a narrow immigration policy. If you do not have Jesus Christ, the visa, the passport, you are not entering into heaven. You will not enter into heaven without the visa, the passport of Jesus Christ. God has a guest list. It's called the Lamb's Book of Life. Is your name on God's guest list? Is your name on God's guest list, Birmingham? Because when you die, your name is not on God's guest list. You're not going to heaven. God will say, I didn't know you. Depart from me. To go to heaven, you need to know God. Not know about God. Not believe because your parents said believe. Not read what you heard on the TV or what you heard from the vicar or the priest or the, or the 